What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money and welcome to the new 6.2 special delivery box opening video with 20,000 coins available. And we have two pills to choose from. The blue one, like, uh, it may actually be a Matrix reference done by Pixonic because there it was also the blue and the red pill. The blue one sends us back to the pretend world where everything is fine, we never knew what happened. Or the red one that will keep us outside the Matrix where we can basically just change the system. And that's the same thing what we have here because the red one is a system changer. Take a look at this, the Scorpion, that will allow you to change quite some systems there, uh, and the legendary pilot for it, the Scarab Leech, the nu uh, Nucleon Quarker and Atomizer, and the Cloaking Unit even, and the Overdrive Unit. By the way, I was against the Cloaking Unit, I didn't like that very much, uh, but it's here yet, yeah, here now, and uh, it's already in the red one, so this thing, in my opinion, is actually more attractive, despite this thing only costing 100 coins, and this one here costs 1000, and of course has the whole Titan stuff in it, that's why it's more expensive, but I kind of feel like the red one is actually more interesting, to me at least, anyways. Um, so yeah, so before we open the boxes, very important info for today's live stream, ladies and gentlemen, there will not be a live stream. I'm trying to make it seem I am not feeling bad, but I feel terrible right now. I have, I'm dizzy, I'm having headaches, and I probably got myself a cold when I was flying paramotor yesterday. So, but the show must go on, I still want to give you something instead of the live stream at least. So I decided to give you this box opening video here, and I hope you guys are okay with this, because I won't be able to handle a two hour live stream today. Uh, but this one I can make, it's a relatively short video, so uh, bear with me ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and full disclosure everyone, this time it takes place on the Battle Rack account, right? Uh, two months ago I made a box opening video where I got myself my own coins on my account, and I opened them, but this time I didn't do that, and uh, I still wanted to give you an opening video, because some of you guys keep asking for it, and I find it interesting to just open boxes with you, and we can pretend we're a normal player and we want some good stuff, let's see what we get from those 20,000 coins, right? So just so you know, this time I didn't buy them myself, I got them from Pixonic, so I can make this video with you guys right here, so thanks at this point. Uh, I think we're starting with one blue pill, okay? So, the one that sends us back into the Matrix where everything is fine. So, opening one of them, here we go. I can't wait to see what this is going to be. It's a Cataclysm, are you kidding me? On my own account, I had to open like six or seven before I got one Cataclysm, and here on the Battle Rank account where it doesn't matter, I get it immediately, you got to be kidding me, dude. Alright, let's do another one, and then we do red ones, okay? 100 Platinum, that's actually, I think, one of the smallest prices, isn't it? I think 100 is a small, yep, that's the smallest price you have here. Okay, let's do um, a couple of red ones, because as I said, with this price pool, the red ones seem even more interesting to me. Um, so, starting with uh, with this one here, with the hundreds, um, or one single one of them, that's already one-fourth of a scorpion. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can also win the scorpion altogether at once, but you can also win it in parts. So, doing another one. Atomizer. Okay, only 500. That was actually, and that was a normal Atomizer even. That was not that useful. Power cells, well, I guess we always need power cells. And for 100 coins, I guess it's kind of okay. Uh, but if I was, for example, spent 1,000 coins and I only got, like, a couple of power cells, then I would be mad. So, yeah, 1,500 power cells from 100 coins. I guess this is okay. Quarker, a fourth of a quarker. Not bad. Let's do a couple of more. And uh, 3,000 power cells. This is twice as much as before. Okay. Alrighty. We're also... Tr I'm, I'm not sure if we do have some gameplay. As I said, I feel terrible right now. If we have 10 minutes already reached just by opening boxes, and I may end the video there uh, and not make a gameplay video at the end. Uh, let's see how I feel. Maybe I can make it happen, okay? Um, and I'm hoping I do not seem as <laughs> as crazy as I, as I feel right now. Uh, I'm trying to play it well and play over it. Uh, Quarker, here we go. Okay, let's make it uh, until 17, and then we do a couple of... Um, we are only getting power cells, though, right? So, in theory, the price prices are really good. Quarker and power cells are, like, the only things I see. There are so much cool prices that you can get from this. You know what? Let's do 10 of them in a row, okay? Here we go. That's 10 of them at once. Okay, Scorpion components, 500, 500. Quarker, 2,500. Okay, the rest is pretty much, again, just Quarker and Power Cells. However, the Quarker is a very, very empower powerful weapon. And uh, we've seen it, and we are also going to see a video coming up soon. It's called uh, Legendary... No, um, Living Legend Blitz, where I'm using this. So, it's really good. Let's do another tenor here. Okay, so let's keep going. By the way, tomorrow... Tomorrow is going to be a big giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. A really big one coming. One that you guys have been asking for. It has something to do with 200 and something to do with scorpions. What could it be? 
I don't know. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, ladies and gentlemen. A new giveaway will be launching. And uh, so, yeah, just to... Just to let you guys know and spoil a little bit for tomorrow's video, I've already made this video, thank goodness, I don't have to do it today, where I feel so bad. Um, so, okay, let's do a couple of blue ones again, okay? You could do ten blue ones at once. Uh, should we do this? Nah, let's just do one or two at one, uh, single ones. And a self-fix unit is actually not bad, it heals your titan on the go, however, I prefer these... Uh, these plated armor kits and the antimatter reactor for titans, I consider them stronger still. This one, for example. Uh, you know what would be, would be, would, would be cool, Pixonic? If opening these boxes... Like, we're getting stuff that literally has a value of like 200 platinum. The modules, they only cost you 200 platinum. But we're investing 1000 coins in those. 1000. What would it- what would you think, Pixonic, if those things we get from those boxes would be already a bit leveled? How about the modules, for example, being level th 2 or 3? Let's say level 3. No, they go up to level 25. Maybe the modules could be level 10, right? Because let's consider this. The weapon level 1 also, that's level 1 out of 25 levels. Getting this weapon is actually... Uh, cheaper, if you will, although you can't buy it directly right now, this one. Uh, but I would appreciate if those weapons would be a little bit leveled. Also, Titan Accelerator, their modules go up to level 6. How about they start at level 2 or so? Or maybe 3. 2 or 3, right? So that you have, you, 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 you're you not just getting the module, but you also skip one level. That would be really cool, in my opinion, because a thousand, that's an Ao, Ao Ming that we got here, wow. Because 1,000 keys is actually not not very cheap, I think. It's it, 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 it does... Let's take a look at the price. If 1,000 has about a price... Look, that's like 30 bucks, right? 1,000 is like 30 bucks. And for 30 bucks, you get, you're getting 200 platinum. Because this module, for example, I think only costs 200 platinum if you buy it, right? Or am I wrong? Let's check out. Hold on. Let's check this out. Um, if I wanted to get one of those the store oh wait you can't get them can you not uh maybe it goes into a universal slot hold on store no you can't get them okay uh all right uh but the regular modules for example the anti-matter reactor they only cost 200 platinum and i think 200 platinum is kind of a joke for 1000 of those coins and i think uh, that this over that this uh anti-matter reactor for example could really come at level three or so just to, to give you a good feeling that you are really you feel like you've gotten what something out of the deal and you're more you're more interested to open a few more maybe right cataclysm is really strong how many of those have i gotten now that's crazy let's do one more and then we do the red ones again okay there we go let's go and open a couple of red ones and we're starting with 10 boom okay so now, if I were on my account right here, I would joy. I, I would, I would uh, jump joy right now because I wanted those overdrive units badly, and I actually gotten some because there were some offers. Um, eh, but uh, the um, this thing is really rare for me to get. You have to kind of wait for the right offers, or you get them from the chest opening. And right here, it's there, right? So that's actually a really good price. I like this. And that also only, well, only is, uh, we already know how much that would be, but that was a thousander, uh, because ten of those. Also, tons of power cells and, again, more quarker stuff. How much quarkers will we have after this? Holy moly. Let's open more. And there it is, the Pharaoh skin. Nice. So, the, uh, the Scorpion now has a new skin that has 5% more HP and looks pretty awesome. And the scorpion components too. How many scorpion components have we gotten? I think we almost get another scorpion too, right? Hold on. Let's check out that new skin. There it is. Oh, wow. Look, this is the normal one. It looks also pretty cool. But this one has 5% more HP. And it looks pretty sick. Yeah. The Pharaoh Scorpion. Really awesome. I equipped this immediately. Yeah. I don't even have this on the battle rack account, by the way, or didn't have it before. So that's actually pretty cool. And uh, I wonder how many parts of uh, scorpions we've gotten. So that was probably also getting close to a full scorpion now. Yeah, doing another one here. The futuristic walker. And this time, we actually got the whole weapon. It's not just, you know, uh, parts. It's the whole weapon this time. So it's like every time you open with 10, you get something really good immediately. All right, power cells. This one was really bad. That was a very bad one. Only power cells and... Uh, 
a little bit of gold and a bit of a quarker. And why is it only quarker? Ah, Nucleon here too, okay. So, let's do the, the last 10 symbol, single, and then we have, if possible, one more match. Uh, I, f I, I feel like maybe I can handle one more match, if the game doesn't crash on me, by the way. There's a, there's a chance that the game crashes, because I still have those issues. Um, Atomizer. Come on. Give me some scorpion stuff, some scorpion components. That will give us an idea um, of how much uh, we got from the scorpions. I didn't count, but I think we've gotten like 7,000 or so, maybe. Power cells, that's really weak. But then again, for only 100, I kind of feel like it's... Nothing you get here is extremely horrible, except maybe a couple, a few gold coins. But even those are actually not that bad. So, um, yeah. You could argue it makes no sense to do this on the Battle Rack account because the excitement isn't there because I don't really need anything. But then again, I kind of wanted this Pharaoh skin, but I know some of you guys keep asking for box opening videos, and that's why I still wanted to give you that, okay? And um, in this case, I asked Pixonic for this, and they helped out uh, to allow this video to happen. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with one battle at least to be able to replace that live stream on the new map Factory, where we use the new Pharaoh skin on the Scorpion. And uh, there's already P2 people on the enemy, oh, on the beacon right there. I'm trying to prevent them from capping. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. Nope, I wasn't because there's two of them on it. If it had had only been one person, I would have been able to capture this beacon. But since there's two people here, uh, I was I couldn't do it anymore. Teleporting back. Oh. Um. So getting this guy, and he just had his ability used. We know that because he just suppressed me. I should be able to do a lot of damage here to him. Now he's trying to phase shift to get another one of those ability charges. I'm trying to have that not happen. And it worked. Nice. I got him just as he was about to have his ability ready again, I'm pretty sure. There is a Nightingale. Every good match needs at least two Nightingales in every any enemy team. This is an experience I'm making these days. Like, you can't have a match without at least two Nightingales in the enemy team. And they always drive me nuts. I hate this. Because they always kind of uh, prevent beacon caps like this. Look, there's like he's flying here and he's preventing our capturing from of beacons. Meanwhile, he's suppressing. Nobody can hurt him. It's like so many annoying abilities at once in this thing. Uh, but then he gets killed, finally. Okay, he's reaching me. Uh, TNT, huh? So, uh, let's see. I'm coming to him now because his leech ability is going to be over. And, uh, yep, down to last stand. And finishing him off here. Nice. Okay. Uh, what is this over there? It's a, a behemoth, it seems. Okay. And he respawned back with another robot. I'm going to face shift away from him here. And land in safety. I already knew. I always am, I, I was, I'm always very aware of enemies attacking um, my positions. Because when, they, when I kill somebody, they often can just respawn there, right? So here we go, going for him. Sorry, man, I didn't really mean to focus you, but you had the Aochon there uh, with, you know, uh, with, uh, with without your ability. So it was a good thing to attack you at this point. Uh-oh, I think I'm alone and I have no more resistance. Uh-oh, and this is a behemoth. He just deployed? No, he didn't deploy. Okay, uh-oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, I'm behind him now, thank goodness. But I already lost a weapon. That's a bit of a problem. Trying to make him miss a couple of shots here. And... Ah! Oh, it didn't work! I almost got him, dude. I almost got him. It was so close. But I had just not enough in a HP to deal with him there. Alright. Um, very, very even match now, which I like. Uh, we are a bit in the lead, but overall... You know, let's just jump into the shield. I'm not gonna bother taking down the shield, and I can just jump inside of it and kill him from within. Like that. Now he's gonna respawn here. There he is, and I'm gonna teleport back. I knew he was gonna respawn there, um, so I just waited for that to happen, uh, and now I know what I have to deal with. I know it was a... Um, what is it called? Uh, a Raijin, yeah. Alright, five minutes left on the clock. We, we are currently uh, in the lead got only one weapon really on that thing okay going for it boom 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 
He's got the thunder. From within the shield, I can turn him around a little. And then my teammates are gonna do more damage. I'm actually gonna stay here now because the Phantom is busy doing something else. But look how long it takes me to get this freaking physical shield destroyed. Jeez! That physical shield is really, really strong. Thank goodness I'm inside the shield. And the only good thing here is that he's got only one thunder. And so he actually has lower firepower than he could have. Uh-oh, he did respawn here though. Trying to capture the beacon. But it doesn't work, unfortunately. Okay, face shifting again. And then jumping away. Not really going to jump into safety here, but I can't hurt him. And I still even kept all my weapons. That's really good. The enemy is now in the beacon lead, so... Uh-oh. Okay, okay. We have an enemy um, nemesis there. Who's going to try and splash me around the corner. When I get the next ability charge... Oh, he's already face shifting. That's good. That means he's not going to have the face shift available when I just jump inside his shield in a second. Okay, his shield is going to go. So jumping behind him now, his face shift is, should be gone. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Low health now, and there we go. Good. It's like every time I get this beacon, and then he takes it back. I'm getting this beacon, and he takes it back. Every time. It's insane. Okay, got the beacon now. But here we have a Titan now, so I'm actually going to fight him this time. Like this. He also has a long, a short range, no, a long range sniper setup. That that means I can actually take him down rather well. Oh boy. Oh, he died. Okay. Whew. That was close. We could still jump into our Titan, but I feel like, hey, let's just do this the old, the, uh, this way here. We have resistance, we have three shotguns, and we have the overdrive module on it to, to deal more damage. But my goodness, is this guy hard to kill. When is he ever going to have to reload, man? I often wonder how long these weapons are firing these Titan weapons. But that's it, ladies and gents. We could jump here onto this beacon and prevent the cap, basically, to just put the last nail in the coffin. Uh, wait, is that... Coffin, yeah. Put the last nail in the coffin. That's the saying, isn't it? Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, that was my uh, my unboxing video with the 6.2 update and the special delivery. Uh, again, really sorry for not having the live stream today. I'm already I'm feeling even more dizzy now than I felt when I started the video, man. I uh, yeah, I, I gotta take some rest. And tomorrow is going to be a big giveaway, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off.